This is CFWE FM 98.5 Edmonton. Alberta's best country variety. I'm Dustin McGladry, and we're welcoming uh, Jesse Mass to our studios this morning. How's it going, bud? Good. How are you, Dustin? Doing pretty good. Where are you coming from today? Uh, well, we're uh, we've been going through Alberta, um, the coast over in BC, and uh, we're just going around talking to people. It's been fantastic. Yeah, uh, I noticed you guys had some uh, Timmy's this morning. Oh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> the elixir of life. <laughs> so, like, wherever you go, you got to find, like, the Timmy's first before you find the studio. Oh, it's got to be, like, every Canadian's got to be, like, 20% Tim Hortons. Now, where are you from originally? Here in Edmonton. Edmonton born and raised. When was the last time you were in Edmonton? Uh, to probably about a month ago. I'm actually from the West Coast. I was told that you're going to Vancouver. I just came from, actually. Yeah, we uh, we were over in Vancouver for about 19 hours uh, a couple days ago, and um, just visiting the radio station there and playing some music and hanging and having a good having a good time. <laughs> now, I gotta ask you, when did you start playing music? I started playing music. I picked up a guitar for the first time four years ago, and. Um, Actually, as a kid, I have to go a little bit further back. As a kid, I wanted to be an NHL goalie. That was all I wanted. And of course, you know, every every red-blooded Canadian's dream, right? Yes. <laughs> um, but when it became readily apparent that I uh, had no future as an athlete, I, um, I picked up a guitar, started playing, fell in, absolutely fell in love with it. And, uh, and here we are four years later. Everybody needs a fallback. Well, I, I chose an interesting one for yeah, sure. That is a that is a good one. <laughs> I noticed you have a Dean Martin there. Yeah, yeah, this is my baby. This, it's a 1937 Martin D18. That is pretty cool. I have a Martin myself. Mine, uh, mine has koa wood. Really? Yeah, a it was, koa wood Martin. Yes, it is. It's from Australia. It's fantastic. I'll bet. Now. When you decided to get your first guitar, did you have to like write it down or anything like what specifically you wanted? Because that's what I had to do myself, like kind of like a dream collage, like of like my uh, the car I wanted, the guitar I wanted. Well, um, as a kid, I wanted a Martin guitar. That's that's all I've ever wanted ever since I've seen Johnny Cash with his uh, with his Martin, right? Mm -hmm. And so, but um, as a kid, I also couldn't afford one, so. I didn't really have a list of things I wanted in a guitar. I just kind of had a price range that was <laughs> incredibly modest. Went out and uh, and my first guitar was actually an old um, an old guild. A friend of mine who has a pawn shop gave me a '73 guild, um, and I actually still have that guitar to this day. Actually, kind of a funny story about it, if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. Um, I uh, that that was my first guitar, but then when I was in uh, high school, I sold it like as the stupid teenager I was and uh, because I wanted a Gibson Les Paul. The Les Paul is fine I guess but um, I missed that guitar instantly after I uh, after I sold it so my dad unbeknownst to me tracked it down and bought it back and that was my grad present. That would that would be like the best. Kind it was the most amazing amazing gift ever. I bet you got some good chills from that. Oh yeah. Now since you're getting a lot bigger does it seem like uh, you're using social media a lot to reach out to your audience? I feel like I live on social media now. <laughs> it's fantastic. You know, the fact that, like, I mean, I'm a small town. I'm a, well, big town, but then small town. I'm kind of a bit of a mutt, actually. But either way, I'm not really used to people listening when I play music or, or caring about what I do. So this is kind of a change for me. The fact that people are actually taking the time to tweet me or tell me uh, or Facebook me, tell me that they appreciate what I'm doing is absolutely, uh, it's humbling. It's amazing. It is such a change when you actually get like <laughs> your first like retweets or uh, your first uh, messages on Twitter. Yeah. It's something else because you're actually, you know, reaching out to an audience. They're actually liking what you're saying. I know. You reach out to an audience and they reach back. It's... It is really cool. <laughs> now, you're on a radio tour. Uh, you come here to play as a little song. I did come here to play you guys a song. Which one are you playing for? Well, I'll play you an original of mine. We cut two singles with Gord Bamford, both of them produced by Gord Bamford. One of them is Bad Blood, uh, hitting radio February 22nd. And um, we're super excited about that. But this one is uh, going to be the follow-up single. It's one that I wrote with a good friend of mine down in Nashville named Frank Myers, and it's called Hanging by a Thread. Thank you. City lights shining bright You can see the miles up on this rooftop the sun is fading and we're swinging slow Red wine in your blue eyes Getting me drunk on you tonight 
Keep your arms around my neck Baby, don't let go I'm hanging my thread Losing my head Yeah, girl, I'm about to fall I'm dancing in the way Kiss me again like that Gonna lose it all Up here with you Never seen such a beautiful view And I know my heart's out only Hanging by a thread Love you. Fingertips on my skin, the taste of cherry on your lips, girl. The way we're moving, yeah, we're grooving. You show sure know what you're doing. I'm hanging my thread, losing my head. Yeah, girl, I'm about to fall. Dancing in the wind, kiss me again like that. Gonna lose it all up here with you. Never seen such a beautiful view, and I know my heart's out on the ledge. Me hanging my thread, losing my head, yeah, girl, I'm about to fall. Dancing in the wind, kiss me again like that. I'm gonna lose it all up here with you. Never seen such a beautiful view, and I know my heart's out on it. Hanging my Thank you, guys. On CFW EFM, man, you've come a long way since those talent contests. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 so I've been told. Yeah, nice. Now, when are you cutting a record? Well, we, um, to be honest, I'm always writing. I'm always, I'm always trying to come up with new stuff and, you know, trying to expand a little bit. But as of right now, these two singles are kind of what we're focusing on, and uh, especially this one coming out, this Bad Blood, and, um, and uh, though. You know, there, there will be a record in the future right now that that's kind of our focus. Now, Bad Blood is uh, coming. It's going to be released February 22nd. Can yep. you tell us about it? Um, well, it's a tune that was pitched to us a couple years ago by a great songwriter out of Nashville named Matt Rogers. And um, when as soon as we heard it, we just absolutely fell in love with it. And uh, since then, we've been recording it, re-recording it, remastering it. And we're really proud of what we've come up with. Well, we've, uh, we've added it to our rotation, and we'll be coming back with that. Jesse Mast, thank you for coming into the studio. Well, thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. It's been fantastic. This is CFWE-FM with studios in Edmonton, Alberta, owned and operated by the Aboriginal Multimedia Society.